Hey everyone, welcome back to Beasts of the North. Today I'm going to be filming as I make Hunter's raw food breakfast. As you can probably see, it is a beef breakfast. And what I'm going to do is go over each of the ingredients and put it together for you, show you how I prepare a bowl of food for him, and then you can watch him eat it because he loves his raw food. Beef happens to be his favorite, especially beef heart. That is his absolute favorite thing in the world. And yeah, it's fun to watch dogs eat raw. I also have to mention that this is not a completely balanced meal. I do not have a bone source here this morning. Don't worry though, he will absolutely get his daily bone requirement this evening with his dinner. Today is just some of his favorite foods that I'm putting together to show you sort of what a raw meal may look like. Some people will feed bone with every meal. Some people will feed it once in the day. Some people will feed a bunch of muscle meat one day and then give them a bunch of bone the next day. It just depends on what your preference is for that. Now, before I go put this meal together, I just wanna go over the ingredients that I have in front of me. I also want to make note that this right here, this is Iron Will Raw. It's a commercial raw pet food in Canada that Hunter eats the majority of the time. I throw a bunch of stuff into it too at random, whatever I feel like, but this is, you know, his base food. This is a mix of bone, meat, organ, kelp, and some other stuff like spinach and green vegetables. Um, so although there's no bone source in this morning meal, he will have his iron will raw in the evening and that will be enough bone for him for the day. So I just wanted to point that out real quick before we get started. Now in terms of ingredients, I bought all of this fresh yesterday. However, I tossed the beef liver in the freezer because I don't like when it goes, like it discolors really quickly and I don't think it looks or smells nice. So I did freeze that overnight. I'm gonna have to cut it up when I cut everything else up. Um, okay, so first thing I have here is beef kidney. This is fed as an organ. So like I just showed you, the beef liver is my second organ. I like to have at least two organs in a meal just because you get a better variety of nutrients going with two different organs. And this is Hunter's favorite thing. This is a beef heart. It's actually quite small, surprisingly. And beef heart is actually fed as a muscle meat. It's not fed as part of your organ in a meal, although it is technically an organ. It is a muscle, so it gets fed like a muscle meat. And then I just have some stew beef, boneless. I have a small bowl of spinach because I like to give him green vegetables with his food. I don't really feed much fruit. He gets blueberries, I think every other day, but the majority is green vegetables like broccoli, Brussels sprouts, sometimes red cabbage or regular cabbage, parsley, spinach, kale, those sort of things are what I add to his food. So I've got everything chopped up and ready to be put into his food bowl. I've got the stewing beef, I have beef kidney, beef heart, and some beef liver. Now this is too much food for him, but I figured I would chop up some for later as well. So I'm going to turn my scale on, zero it. Okay. So he eats about a pound of meat a day. And I don't measure it to the exact number, especially if we've gone for a hike that day or if we've had 
like a, a fetch session, which is hard exercise for him. I typically factor in what activity we've done for the day. So what I'm putting in first is the muscle meat portion of the meal, which takes up the majority of it. So there's the stewing beef and the heart. Now I'm gonna add in some kidney. And he really likes organ meat. So we're at 10 ounces. I might have to remove a couple things as I play with this. This is the beef liver. That's actually quite a bit of organ meat, so I'm gonna stop there with that. Just add in some more muscle meat. And that is about a pound. A little bit more heart. There's a pound. I need to do a little bit of the spinach that was frozen, so it's a little bit unhappy. Next, I'm going to take the krill oil. He gets four pumps a day. vitamin E. So I don't usually throw the pill in there because he's a bit picky. So I'll just cut the, the top off of it and drizzle it over the meat. So that's the vitamin E. These leftovers. I was going to give him his green-lipped mussels, but I think I'm going to save that for, for tonight's meal. And that's essentially it. So we've got the muscle meat and the organ meat. Muscle meat usually takes up the majority of the, the meal. Um, if I have a bone source, then that would also be more than the organ meat. Organ meat's super rich, so you don't want to feed a tremendous amount. The omega fatty acids, which is the krill oil that I used, it's extremely important, so make sure you always have that in a meal. And that's about it. And now I will get him set up and let you see him eat it. All right, so now is the best part of the video, watching Hunter eat his food. Are you ready? Okay.
Is that good? Gonna leave the spinach. <laughs> Good boy.